Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna guide you how to design a class diagram. The software which is used for drawing is UML, an open source for software exclusively for UML designing. Now let's open UML. When a new project dialog appears, select default approach because it covers almost everything we need to work on. On the right hand side stands the model explorer pin. Click on main of design model to begin. Now we are going to draw here. In this tutorial, I will give you an example about an online library domain model. As you can see, the class designing tool on the left hand side. Now select class. Click on main space to draw a class. Firstly, we need a class name book. As you can see here, we have some quick button. Here's for the visibility of the class. We get public, protected, private, and packet. The default is public. This quick button is for adding attribute, and this is for adding operation. Now we need some attribute for this class. For example, title and its data type is string click plus button to add more attribute summary with string type publisher with string type Number of pages with integer type. And language with string type. So I have finished the first class. Let's select this class, look on your right hand side. This is property box for class diagram. As we can see, class name, stereotype, visibility and so on. In this box, we not only can view properties, but we can also change them. We had book, so now we need author. Give him or her some attribute. Next, I'll create an inheriting class name book item in order to collect book information then serving online borrowing library. This class needs barcode. I'll 
and give this one more tag with RFID. RFID is a kind of interesting and informative identifier. You can learn more by Google. Next, we need an account for remote reserving book. As for attribute, we need ID for username, history for login activity. Opened that and account step. In this class, I will make some operations. Borrow for borrowing, return for returning, and reserve for reserving. As we made a cow state, you see. For more detail, I create an enumeration for a cow statement. Some attributions for this, some status for account suggest active, frozen, and closed. Now the library. Name and address with string type. Two actions land for landing and retrieve for taking books back. Now users Name and address are needed For the librarian, we also need name and address and position in addition.
to a track reader catalog is helpful and I'm making it. Okay, look at this class user librarian catalog. We need them to interact, so I should insert interface. Searching function to help people quickly identifying what they need. And manage function for the librarian. We got enough elements. Now we need to link them reasonably. These are relationship illustration for class diagram. Because book item is generalized class of book, so I pick generalization. For the author, this class associates directly to book class, so I pick direct association. Name this relationship wrote. account to book item I use association line representing for some operation in account because account state is enumeration so I pick dependency to illustrate Name this relationship use Both book item and account are entities, so they connect to library by aggregation. I have to notice that when you want to draw an item continuously, double click on that item until red lock appear. Now you can create item quickly without re-picking them. Next, association for book item to catalog. I name it record. Composition relationship for catalog and library. As for catalog, it could be book appearance for both user to search and librarian to manage, so I choose realization. As for user and librarian, they use those interface to approach. So dependency must be used to illustrate this relationship. Don't forget to lock item before continuously drawing. Okay, I have finished my tutorial class diagram. Now you can view the model explorer to look over structure of diagram.
This is the end of our tutorial about how to design email class diagram. Thank you for watching.